big dramas here at Bristol Coy. <laughs> it's not good. So, all day the power's been off to a few of the houses on my street. Not all of them. Mine doesn't have any power off, but like my neighbours have. That's fine, I've, I've run some extension leads to my neighbour's house, so, so they've had some power. Anyway, the energy company has just been on, knocked on the door and said that everybody's losing their power at two o'clock in the morning. Big dramas, they grow on, sitting at 25 degrees. I'm panicking like that. <laughs> panicking like that, three weeks before the competition's up. Three weeks. So much hard work's gone into these fry. I'll spin you around and show you what I've done. I've wrapped it up. Got some cell attacks in there, it's not a very big sheet. Might go and get some more blankets from the house. I'm not really worried about these ones because even though I'll lose the filter and the pump and on the air pump, it's, it's quite cold at the moment, so. It's just how long is it going to be off at two o'clock in the morning, isn't it? Fish looking good, don't they? Um, these ones, on the other hand, I mean, I, I bet you it's getting to five or six degrees in the night now, two o'clock in the morning. How quick is that going to drop? How quick is that going to drop at two o'clock in the morning? And one of my neighbours who hadn't lost power during the afternoon, his, his RTD's tripped a few times. So now I'm thinking, even if what they've got to do at two o'clock in the morning only takes 10 minutes, are my RCDs in the house going to trip? <laughs> what a nightmare. Oh, that's it, power's just gone off. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Look. Oh. I was going to cover the pod up, but it really matter if that gets. Oh, I'm gonna go get another blanket. Got the main pond overflowing like mad. So that'll need topping up. It shouldn't, it shouldn't overflow too much. I mean, these should be alright. That water's probably 12 degrees now. I'm gonna have to chuck a few buckets of water in, I reckon, at some point. Depending on how long this goes on for. Worry over here now. Oh, just a waiting game. Right, got an idea. We'll have to drag that over to the uh, to the grow on. I don't think it's been used for over twelve months, but. Worth, worth setting it up, isn't it? Do you know what I'm really worried now? There's no oxygen in that, going in that at all. It's 25 degrees, the air pump's gone off, there's no splashing from the backy shower. Oh my God. Right, get back to you.
gets hot, this does. This is splashing. Better get a bucket of water and start throwing water in, trying to oxygenate the water a bit. What a nightmare. Cut now between taking that lid off and losing heat. What did you do? Well, I'll get back to you. Have a little think. So, just had a word with that guy there, and he reckons. He reckons they've had to shut the power off to my row of houses so that they can dig the road up and then when they cut the cable they can turn the power back on which is going to be in an hour and a half hour and a half no 25 degrees and zero oxygen going into that pond set that patio heater up now Um, I can't see nothing. I should have a torch, shouldn't I? So, hour and a half. Got the heat, got no oxygen. I think I'm going to give it five minutes and then throw a load of buckets of water and swish the water around a bit. <laughs> I'll get back to you. So, it's been about 20 minutes now. I'm going to have to lift this up and throw some water around in there can't end like this surely so much time and effort has been put into these they seem to be doing all right in the air for now I don't even know if that's stressing them out even more. At least that's red hot that is. Just a bit curious to see what the temperature of the pond is like. I haven't tested the temperature for a while, so it was sitting at 25. couple of months ago, 23.6, maybe monitor that a bit, I wonder what the pod is at now.
grow and show the difference fish that's in there. It's got that four step Danichi Kahaku I put in. Kahaku was at the top man. I don't know whether he was gasping for air or not. I start to put water in. Keeping on and feeling about. About 35, 40 minutes now. 55 minutes till they're out in the power to going back on. I'll get back to you. It's starting to sink in now, how serious this is. I think I even recall like reading or someone telling me that you know, when they haven't got oxygen and hot water happens fast again. So much time in that bit of news. Do you know what I did? I was been thinking all week, should I buy a sheet of Celotex to cover it to save save some heat? I should have done that now. Just went out to the car to get the head torch and I thought, oh, if I had one of them little inverters, you know, you plug into the cigarette light and it gives you the socket. I don't remember giving me much power, but it would be enough to run my my smallest air pump. Definitely something I'll have to look into. Getting some sort of reserve backup power. Even if it's a small Jenny, you know. I know it wouldn't run the um, two kilowatt heater, but it would run an air pump, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm just going to keep bucketing water around it. Hope for the best. Again, a bit worried about these ones now. These are not usually swimming around this late at night. I don't know whether it's because I'm here now, but maybe I'm just overthinking a bit. Oof. I'm just thinking my filters in here. I better check these ones. Oh, it's eerily quiet in here. I don't mean that's quiet in here for since the, this has not stopped boiling since I turned the pond on 18 months ago. Oh. Oh. Oof. The backy shower on the grill one as well. That's Got nothing going over it. It's gonna knock me back on the feed in, isn't it? Oh. Have to get me some filter styles, don't I? Just keep sloshing water around every 10 minutes. What are we on now? 9.55, 35 minutes. <laughs> I've uh, <coughs> laid my little thermometer by there. See how much heat I'm actually getting from that. It's actually 26.5, so. At least that's maintaining the, um, the heat on the top of the pond.
got 10% battery left on my phone. So that's probably going to be my last bit of footage for tonight. There's a set now. Catch you on the next one.